Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I have a special guest. You guys have been asking about Pepper, so I thought she could make a special appearance today. She got her first haircut. She is a mini schnauzer and she's our new puppy. She is such a good puppy. <laughs> she's cute. She has found her voice this last week and is barking at everything, just like schnauzers do. So I thought I would show you before we get started today, I've just had lots of you asking about her. I see you guys joining, hello. Okay, Pepper, she thinks I'm talking to her. Hello, hello, patients, good to see you. All right, so are you guys ready for some fun stamping? I am ready. This week kind of got away from me. I have no excuse. I don't know. I was frantically trying to get my classes uploaded for May yesterday and today. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like, ugh. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to send Pepper off because I can't, I can't stamp and hold Pepper at the same time. She's going to stay in here probably. Okay. So good to see you guys. Today we're going to do three projects with Pedal to the Metal, which is a dude set. Um, I said I made the clean recordings this morning and I kept calling it a, a guy set, but you know what? My youngest would love this set. She is all about um, the outdoors, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a guy set, right? Um, okay, so I have a lot of things to tell you and all three projects are pretty um, involved, so we probably need to get started. Um, I want to, where, where to start? Okay, I'll start right here. So today's May 1st, which means there's a new, oh, you know what? I need to open up you guys on my iPad so I can see your comments. Um, May 1st means a new all-star tutorial bundle. And this round we've been doing um, different uh, bundles for each, each PDF. Usually we, before we would just all do whatever we wanted. And now we're deciding on one um, product, like a bundle, and everybody's designing their projects with that bundle. So this month it's the oh, Dress to Impress or Best Dress Suite. Dress to Impress, Best Dress, same thing. So 12 projects featuring, oh, is it upside down? Maybe it's backwards on the screen. Featuring the Dress to Impress Suite. Now I already did a class to go with this and I already did a PDF with this. So this is the second PDF now that you can access. Oh, I just saw my project. I'm gonna show you it in just a second. Um, I send these out for free with anybody who spends $50 or more with me in my online store, um, my Stampin' Up! store. Um, you can also get them for free if you're on my team. They always get them for free. And um, then I also have subscribers, but the subscription period is over. We'll start that again in July. Hi, Mike. So anyway, this month's is uh, Dress to Impress. It's $15 also, that's what I was gonna say. It's $15 in my PDF store. And it has 12 projects by 12 different designers. This is a really good one. Um, funny enough, I w I felt like I was I had exhausted all of my ideas for Dress to Impress. And I was really gonna have a hard idea, hard time coming up with an idea. But this month, my project is a shaker box. Do you see those perfume bottles? It's a little gift box. And I made the perfumes little shakers. So I was pretty excited. You know, sometimes you're like, I do not know what I'm gonna make. I cannot make another thing with this. But I, um, I dug down deep and <laughs> I came up with one more idea. So this is one of the 12 projects that's in there and you can get that on my PDF store. Um, you guys, when you go to my blog, up at the top there's some tabs and one of them says PDF store. That's where all my PDFs are. Hi, Terry. Um, Terry and I were texting back and forth about the new catalog. She's in my downline. And uh, I haven't responded back to your the final text, Terry. Sorry, I was getting ready for Facebook Friday. Um, but we will continue that conversation. Um, okay, so that's that. I have a new class to go. I just posted it this morning. It's the birthday bonanza class. And I think I did kind of a not so good job in the video because... I don't know, I had to stop it several times and start over. Um, I had already recorded several videos, I think I was just tired, but let me see if I can explain it better. It's the birthday bonanza class to go. 
The problem with this birthday bonanza is that it's on the last chance list. It's retiring and everything in the retiring list is while supplies last. So that makes it kind of difficult to do class to go because I include product in your classes. Um, this one's going to include the pom poms, ribbon and twine. Um, two of those are retiring. So and the bundle itself is retiring. So I kind of have to um, be very careful with this class. I have to watch inventory. I have to see who's ordered. And every couple of days, I'll look to see how many people have ordered and I'll order those supplies. So if this happens to sell out um, before the end of the registration period, I'll have to close the registration. So if you want the birthday uh, bonanza class to go, make sure you register sooner than later. The deadline's the 15th. Hopefully we'll make it to there before things sell out. Um, this, the options are different. This time there's just one kit option and it includes all the, the, um, what am I trying to say? The, you know, the make and takes and the, the ribbon, the twine, the pom poms. You can add on the bundle if you need it or want it. I know a lot of people already have it, but I also was thinking it was on back order and unorderable for a long time because everything got tied up over in China, couldn't get over here. So anyway, I couldn't let this go without having a class for it. It's so cute. Um, the class has five cards and two 3D projects with those cute little critters. So if you want this, um, you can go to my blog right now, pinkbuckaroo.com, there down at the bottom of today's post, there's a link you can click to the page that has all this, email me and I'll send you the registration link. Um, what else was I gonna say? There is a PDF option also, okay? PDF option and Sweet Stampede, that's my downline. There's an option for that. See, I butchered that too. I don't know why I can't explain this class clearly, but hopefully it makes sense. Um, now, there's going to be another class. It's not quite ready. I have teamed up with my friend Angela McKay from Canada. I know a lot of you know Anne. She and I are very good friends. And we have a combo class that is coming. It's designed. We're just tweaking the details. I should. We should both be able to announce it here in the next couple days. So if you're from Canada, you'll be able to buy both classes from her. And if you're from the United States, you can buy both classes from me. My class is, features the My Meadow stamp set, and her class is Positive Thoughts. And they both use our favorite Buffalo Check, okay? So that's a little sneak peek. It's coming watch the blog okay yeah the colors are bright and fun carla and funny enough she and i both really stuck to uh, gorgeous grape we use it a lot of gorgeous grape okay so let's see i want to switch you guys around um because i want to show you this covid19 fundraiser okay so bear with me just real quick and then we will start stamping all right here we go. Now, hopefully you guys have heard about this COVID-19 fundraiser. Stampin' Up! is done. It's a PDF. It's 17 pages, um, and it's $12 American. I don't know how much it is in, in the other countries. But it's a PDF, and I was going to pull it up over here so you could see it. Um, you go to covid 19stampinupcom and then you click on, you know, if you want it, it whatever country you're in, whatever language. And I just clicked on French, I think. But anyway, you click on yours and then you can buy it. 100% of the profits of this PDF goes to relief efforts. And you can choose between two charities. Um, but what, so what is it? That's what I was going to kind of tell you. Let me go back to Facebook so I can see you guys. Um, it's a PDF full of mostly sentiments that can be used during this time, okay? So like, there's no place like home for now. Um, sending love and support, this too shall pass one day at a time. There's some real, you know, like serious ones. There's some funny ones. Well, um, this one's funny. It says, um, though something apart, we're close at heart though miles apart, so I guess you could fill that in, though hours apart, we're close at heart, though six feet apart, we're close to heart. Cute, right? Um, not alone, just apart. Um, though we are not together, we're close at heart. So you can see they're cute. They come in lots of different colors. That We've got the, the little medical symbols there. Thank you for your service. That's really neat. 
Um, we're in this together. Sending love and paper hugs. I like that one. I really had a hard time narrowing it down. I'll show you the two cards that I've made. Um, I can't wait to hug you when this is all over. Just breathe, but wear your mask. That's the one I used. Um, I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card. Um, okay, so anyways, I'm just going to kind of flip through here so you can see them. Because you can't, you can't see them before you purchase them. Which is kind of, some people are having a hard time where they want to see what they're getting. Quarantine and chill. <laughs> stay home, stay safe. Wishing I was qu in quarantine with you. Um, this is another one I used. Have a quarantini. And there's a little image. Things I miss touching my face and you. Um, flatten the curve. And I'm smiling under my face mask. So, oh, these are the these are probably everybody's favorite. Just roll with it with the toilet paper. And I totally share my toilet paper with you. Wash your hands. Okay, so that's what you get. And it's a PDF. You don't need any special software. You don't need anything but a printer. And you save it on your computer. It's a document. And then you put cardstock in your printer and you print. And then you can use your dies to cut out the sentiments or your paper cutter, or your punches or whatever. And then you can just use it with whatever stamps you want. Here's my quarantini one. Have another quarantini. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone. <laughs> okay, so um, covid19.stampinup.com. I'll link it here with the video when we're done. It's a fundraiser. Um, this, I don't, won't know if you've purchased this. This is strictly a separate deal. So unfortunately, this purchase won't apply to the freebies I'm giving out for Facebook Friday. But it's a fundraiser. You're giving money to support uh, COVID relief efforts. So check it out. It's really fun. Um, I've enjoyed it and I think you will too. All right. Now let's get to what we're going to do today. Let's do prizes. Last week, my two prizes, my two random winners are Mindy Bruce and Patricia Luckinick. Did I say it right, Patricia? Um, Mindy, I know I have your mailing address unless it's changed. And Patricia, I don't think I have yours. I don't know. Message me, let me know, and I will get your prizes out to you. Congratulations, ladies. They shared my video on Facebook, and that got them entered into a drawing for a prize. And this week, I'm giving away Here's to Strong Women. Um, two, I have two different sets, along with those gorgeous glitter enamel dots. So if you would like to win one of these, you can share my um, video on Facebook, and you'll be entered to win next week. Okay, we're getting to the end of my pile, you guys. We are at the end, so let me move all of this. And let's talk about what we're gonna do today. So Pedal to the Metal is a great stamp set um, in the January to June spring catalog. And I, I have been excited to use it. Um, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, all the details for the projects we're making are over there. Under the last photo is this PDF, and this PDF has all the products that I use as well as any dimensions that you'll need. Um, oh, and I didn't, did I fix this? Oh yeah, I fixed all of this before I printed, after I printed it out. Over here on this side, you'll see the Birthday Bonanza class, you'll see sneak peek of me and Angie's class, and then information about the botanical, nope, not botanical prints, the Dress to Impress um, PDF, okay? So pinkbuggeroo.com should be over there. Every Friday, I, I offer these make and takes for free. If you put in an order by Monday at midnight, here's your host code, um, $35 minimum. And then on Tuesday, I look to see who's ordered and I make you a make and, make and take pack. Kind of looks like this. You'll have everything that you need except for the stamps, ink, and adhesive. You'll have to do that yourself. These are thank you tags. They're not pre-stamped images. They're not part of your projects. They're just a little thank you. Um, but then I will mail them to you for free next week, okay? Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the projects for free. All right, Mike. Mike says I need to win a haircut. Same. Yeah, I thought my girl, my hairdresser, said she would be back the fourth, the 13th. But then I heard on the news yesterday that that's not true. So I don't know when we're going to get back, you guys. <sighs> First world problems. Okay, let's get started stamping. You guys ready? Um, I have to admit, um, these projects are a little bit, um, shall we say, 
what did I say in my description? A little bit involved, a little over the top. They have lots of steps. Um, so we might run over our, our one hour limit today. I usually try to limit us to one hour. Okay, so this is the card we're gonna start with. It's really fun, it's a window card and it looks like the motorcycle is colored in there on the front, but when you open it, it's actually colored on the inside. See how that's just clear? Right, isn't that kind of cool? It's kind of like an optical illusion, like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And um, I'll tell you that it took, <laughs> it required a lot of brain power for me to, to get this card right. So fingers crossed we get it right today, okay? Okay, now we're gonna also use a couple of other stamp sets, the All Wired Up Background Stamp and the Label Me Bold, which is in the spring catalog too. All right. All right, let's start by making our all wired up background. Um, we're gonna use the Stamparatus quite a bit today. Um, the Stamparatus is a great stamp positioning tool if you don't have it yet. I highly recommend it. We're gonna stamp the all wired up in Versamark and we're gonna um, emboss it in silver embossing powder. I wanted it to look like a chain link fence I thought that was kind of cool. That kind of went with the theme. And I have used my embossing buddy to remove any static. I do believe the embossing buddy has sold out, but I think you can use a dryer sheet. and It'll do the same thing. It's just releasing any static electricity that might be on your paper that would cause the embossing powder to stick in the wrong places. Now I'm gonna stamp it on Whisper White in Versamark. Versamark is just a clear, um, sticky ink, if you will, and it um, is what you use when you want to emboss. Now, silver embossing powder, and I'm gonna use this. Hello, hello, everybody. Good to see you guys who are joining. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's feeling good out there. I know things are starting to head towards normal, maybe not normal yet, but heading back that way. Let's not, let's not, um, let's not share our political views today. Let's all just, you know, have some fun. I know that when I start talking about all this, people, I might, you know, we might have strong feelings, but hey, let's just have fun and stamp, okay? Hopefully everybody's good out there. Okay, so you can see, look at that. Um, I'm used silver. What am I trying to say? Silver embossing powder. Then I would take my heat tool and heat it until it all turned shiny. But because it's a big image, it would take a while. So look, ta-da, I've done some of it ahead of time. I've done a few things ahead of time today. Hope you guys don't mind. If you wanna see how that works with the heat tool, make sure you go watch the clean recording, okay? Okay, now we're gonna need to cut some circles and I have to pay attention to what I'm doing or I will totally mess it up. And you'll see why. Here's my card base and I have cut down my um, all wired up background to four and five and a fourth. So it'll fit right there on the front of your card, but I'm not gonna glue it down yet because we're gonna stick a window sheet in between there. I have the largest stitched circle, and then I found a layering circle that'll fit right in there. You could also use the next stitch circle down, um, but I, I don't know, I just chose that one. And I'm gonna line this up here so that it's where it should be, and I'm gonna put that circle kind of down in the right corner, and put that one inside to make a, a frame, okay? Actually, no, no, what am I doing? See, I got ahead of myself. Get that one out of here, we're not using that yet. Just the smallest one. I told you guys. All right, right there. There we go. Now, this morning when I recorded this one, I will tell you I messed it up several times. So hopefully I won't mess it up today. Now, see how we've got two, we've got that circle. Now, we're gonna make that frame that I was talking about with the larger one, okay? You've cut the hole with the smaller one. Now put the smaller one and the larger one on your silver foil. Okay, now we're gonna make that frame I was talking about. All right, focus, Erica, focus, so you don't screw it up. 
There we go. We've got a nice silver frame. And I think that's all we need for the die cutting for right now. We're gonna bring our Stamparatus back, okay? And I've got, I'm gonna take that plate off and I'm gonna bring this plate on. And we're gonna stamp that motorcycle twice. Um, but before we do that, let's take a plain piece of Whisper White cardstock, not the one we embossed. This is four by five and a fourth for the inside. I'm gonna adhere it right there. I'm gonna close my card. All right, put it right here and really put your magnets down so that it will not move. Then I'm gonna take this. Have I cleaned this? I don't know. Let's make sure. Who knows with me? My, I've told you guys, I'm usually a clean my stamps before I use them instead of clean my stamps after I use them, which is totally not what you should do, right? Okay, card base closed. Take your motorcycle stamp and center it right there in your frame. And we're gonna stamp it in Memento. Now I'm gonna use several different inks here. We've already used Versamark. We're using Memento on the white because we're gonna color it with the Stampin' Blends. So stamp it right there. Now, don't move anything, okay? Get a little bit of adhesive. Go around your circle. And you're gonna get a window sheet. This is in the catalog, we sell these. Um, this is three and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna stick it right there. I'm gonna move it a little bit over right there. Now, I'm gonna change inks before uh, I stamp it on the window sheet. I'm gonna use stays on. I don't use stays on very often. Um, it is a really great ink. Um, it's really good for non-porous surfaces like this. Um, it'll dry faster, it won't smear. Memento, I'm not sure if you would ever be able to get it to dry on here, maybe, but I just know that stays on is a better choice when you are stamping on a slick surface. Okay, so black stays on, and we've left everything in place. So when I stamp this on the window sheet, it will be exactly on top of the other one, right? Ta-da! I feel like I should have some applause, that's so fun. Okay, now, because I said it dries quickly on the window sheet, I'll probably smear it because I said that. It does take just, you know, a few minutes. You wanna leave it alone, but since we don't have that time, I'm just gonna take my heat tool and hit it. Hopefully we won't smear it. Do, do, do. Okay, let's see, I'll catch up on your comments. Oh, Lee says your cat's still having problems. You're in the vet parking lot, I'm sorry. All right, fingers crossed that it is dry. All right, now let's put this piece on top here. this little piece that we did a little while ago, the chain link fence piece. Line it up with your circle. Now we can do our little frame, all right? Silver frame. You'd think after making this project, this is what the fourth time I've made it, that I would not screw up. I have to think straight and not get distracted. All right, just a few little drops a Tombow and I'm gonna put that right on top okay now you know and I meant to go get do I have that no I meant to go get that little raised table so I could oh yeah I'm, I'll try zooming in hopefully I don't screw the video up okay let's color on the inside okay everybody hold your breath oh I zoomed in how's that can you guys see okay we're gonna color him this guy. We have a lot of blends for today's project, projects. We're going to color him in Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna start with my light Granny Apple. This is probably of the three, the easiest one to color. Um, the next one, that little 
four wheeler. I, I have, I don't know, it's a little bit harder. For some reason, I get out of the lines when I color that one. But this one's pretty easy. Okay, so Granny Apple, you guys good? Okay, looks like I'm zoomed in so you can see. Um, it looks like I need to move over a little bit this way. Now I'm gonna take my dark, I'm gonna add some dark wherever I see something overlapping and underneath here, down here a little bit of green and then take your light green, your light granny apple and just blend it all together. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna do smoky slate. We're gonna do, let's do, what did I do before? Let me look. Let's look and see. Yep, dark smoky slate. So I'm gonna do all of this other, the metal parts in dark smoky slate. I have no idea what any of these parts are. Some of you probably know. The little spokes. <laughs> I don't know, I probably know what they're called. Um, the handlebar, all that. Okay, now let's get light basic black. We're gonna use light basic black for all the tires today. Um, if you use dark basic black, it's really, really dark and you'll lose some of the detail, the tread on the tires. So use your light basic black. There we go. All right, now let's add some dirt because we don't want it floating around in space. Um, I told you we're gonna use Label Me Bold. We're gonna use the Happy Birthday, but we're also gonna use this and that. Dirt and rocks is what I see when I look at those. <laughs> and I'm gonna use Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna stamp off, okay? So get it inked up and then stamp on scratch paper. And then come over here and stamp ink, stamp off, and stamp. But then take your rocks and do them in full strength. All right, what do you think? So cute, so cute. All right, now let's go back to the front. Hopefully we haven't smeared anything in the front. And we're gonna do that little happy birthday from Label Me Bold. And you could do this in Let's do it in Memento. You could do it in either one. Um, you don't really wanna use stays on with, um, oh, that one didn't stamp well. You don't really wanna use stays on with photopolymer stamps. It does something to them. And if I have to use stays on with a photopolymer stamp, like let's say these were photopolymer and I wanted to stamp it on here, I would do it real fast um, and then wash it real, real quickly. Um, but if you leave your photopolymers with stays on on it, they get kind of sticky and I don't know, it does something to them. I learned that the hard way. I had a stamp club one time and we left, we were, you know, doing our projects and we left the photopolymer stamp in the ink and, and by the end of the night it was really sticky and kind of ripping the paper when you stamped with it. So I learned, that if you're going to use photopolymer with stays on, you gotta be quick and clean it. There's a cleaning pad um, right now on the last chance list. I think it's just called the stamp, this cleaning pad. Um, it's really good for those kind of um, inks on your stamps. So if you go over there, you check it out, it's, it's half off. I can't remember, it's like $3. It's good. Okay, now these are really skinny. And they're too skinny for the, even the many dimensionals. So I'm just gonna cut off the edge from my regular dimensional sheet. Put this here. Now you guys, I haven't planned next week's projects. Usually I have them planned already and I haven't planned them. I'm thinking maybe the golf set. Should we do another guy set? Well, that's stupid. Girls play golf too. I don't know why I always think it's a guy set. Um, the golf set, what else? Do you guys have any suggestions, things I haven't done yet before they go away? There's so many good things that are retiring too. I don't wanna ignore those. All right, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Now, 
I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I got my gold faceted gems. These are a sneak peek. Oh, I forgot I was zoomed in. <laughs> gold faceted gems. And this time I'm gonna use my dark basic black. And I'm gonna color a few of them with my dark basic black Stampin' Blend. So now they're kind of like, I don't know. They're like, you know, garage metal, <laughs> if that's a thing. I don't know, masculine gems. All right, a few down here and done. Isn't that fun? I've done this um, kind of technique before with the dinosaur, the old dinosaur set. Well, I need to zoom out. I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in. Uh, it won't let me, hold on. Let me see, oh, sorry guys. Oh, now it's not letting me zoom out, so I guess we're stuck zoomed in. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it because I don't wanna mess it up too. I'm just gonna have to watch. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, the dinosaur, the one that had the skeleton, and I had the skeleton on the front and the dinosaur body on the inside. And it was cute. So look at your stamps and think of what you could do that way. It's a fun, it's a fun little technique. All right, card number one is done. I hope you guys like it. Let's do card number two. I'm really bothered that I can't zoom us back in. Hold on. Everybody close your eyes. I don't want to get you dizzy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to be stuck zoomed in the whole time. All right, let's do card number two. Let's move all this junk. Card number two is a fancy fold. If you consider this a fancy fold. What is this called, you guys? I know it has a name. I don't know what it's called. It's just a regular card base that you've scored here at two and an eighth, and you fold it back like that. See that? Yeah, pretty simple. All right, now. We're going to, I guess I should have left you zoomed in for the coloring. Um, we're gonna color this guy. And what do you guys call this? Is this a four wheeler? Is this a bobcat? I, there's different names, Z fold, thank you, Z fold. See, cause it makes a Z. I should have known that. But what do you guys call, whoa. What do you guys call this right here? This little four wheeler. I'm pretty sure that's what we call it here, four wheeler. <laughs> Today, when I was making my clean recording, for the life of me, I could not remember what it's called. I'm sure it has other names out there, depending on where you live. All right, let's, okay. Oh, I'm zooming in again. It's weird how, because it, it's off to the left when I zoom in. This guy is the more complicated one to color. And I don't know why it's complicated. It just maybe it just takes longer dune buggy i was thinking dune buggy too debbie it looks like a dune buggy darlene a razor hmm, okay all right a, a what a jalopy <laughs> karen atv tony that's it atv it's an atv you're right an atv all-terrain vehicle thank you all right what am i using light real red we're going with real red you guys there's no wrong color here. You color your ATV, four-wheeler, dune buggy, bobcat. You color it whatever you want to color it. I like red. I think if I had to pick one color, you know, if I was if was, I was stranded on a deserted island and I could only have one stamping up color, <laughs> it would be real red. Yes, I love flirty flamingo and melon mambo for sure, but I'm a red girl. I love real red. I did a terrible job on that. Hopefully you guys can't see. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the dark and add some shadow. Hello, Charlie. Charlie came in to see who mommy's talking to. Charlie is my other schnauzer, one of my other ones. My old guy, my barker. I need to look at my sample, remember what else I need to color. Okay, let's color down here pretty dark. We're gonna do dark red down here because this is underneath, so it will be dark. All right, now let's get Smoky Slate. Let's get Smoky Slate dark. All right, and we're gonna come up here. I See, I have to get really close to it or I get way out of the line. It's because 
because I need glasses, isn't it? Oh, I can't go get glasses now. I wonder when all of that's going to be open. And I mean, they have to get right close to you, right, to, to figure out if you need glasses. So that's probably not a good idea right now. The optometrist or ophthalmologist. All right, these little, whatever, these roll bars or whatever they are. And, the, <laughs> oh my goodness. And the um, steering wheel, is that the word you're looking for, Erica? Yes. Okay, Let, let's give it leather seats because it's fancy. We're going to use soft suede for the leather seats. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, I've missed some things. That's why I left the red open. I had a feeling I had. Back here behind the seats would be red. Down here and over here. And let's just color that in red. All right. Now, the tires. Again, we're going to go back to uh, light. Where are you? light basic black that seems so weird right to say light black because black is not light all right if you love to color this is a great set if you do not love to color eh, you may not enjoy this set as much this set is only 18 dollars very affordable all right, last but not least, let's put some lights. Let's do some orange right there. Okay, and we're just gonna call it good. Although I can see I missed this right here, and I missed that, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, now again, there are no dies for this set, you guys. I know some of you out there are booing and hissing. We have to fussy cut, but you can do it. Just get a, a small sharp pair of scissors if you have not purchased Stampin' Up's paper snips that's what I'm using they're 10 bucks they are worth their weight in gold they also do great haircuts <laughs> yeah they're really good all right so stay just stay on the outside of that black line turning your paper with your left hand oh I forgot I'm zoomed in I forgot sorry I gotta stay in the screen Round and round. It's funny, I usually make my kids be silent, go upstairs, mommy's gonna do Facebook Live now. Now after doing this for how many months? They're in there watching TV talking, nobody cares. Nobody cares. All right, there we go. Now, let's zoom back out. Come on, there we go, okay. All right, now let's do some layering. I have got, now all the measurements you guys are over here on the PDF down here at the bottom, okay? So I don't have to remember all the measurements. We're gonna use the tire tread again, and this time we're gonna use it in um, basic gray. Did we use it on the last project? We did not. We're gonna use it on the next project. I forget what I've done and what I did this morning. All right, there's that. And I'm gonna grab a new sheet of dimensionals. Don't you love a new sheet? So much potential. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna layer that on a stitched real red rectangle. This is the largest stitched rectangle die. All right, I believe the white piece is two and a fourth by two and a fourth and the stitched rectangle is two and a half and the basic gray rect or rectangle square, hello, I know my shapes, the gray square is two and three-fourths by two and three-fourths. Each one just goes up a quarter inch. All right, there we go. Now, let's make the card base. All it is is a half sheet of cardstock. Cut a um, five and a half and score down at two and an eighth and four and a fourth. So you have a basic card, right? But you're gonna take that front and fold it back. Pretty easy. Now we're gonna put tire treads and mud all over the front. And we want it to be these two right here, okay? So I'm gonna fold it back. I'm gonna get my scratch paper again. And let's stamp that tire tread all over and then we're gonna make some mud. I bet that's not something you ever thought 
you would be doing in your craft room. Your craft space is making mud. But yep, that's what we're gonna do. All over, mostly in the middle be covered up, but we'll just do that for good measure. Okay, now to make our mud, you're gonna need you can use your silicone mat, you can use your just a clear block, whatever you want. This is craft ink. The craft ink is um, more opaque than um, regular ink, so it's gonna dry kind of, um, I guess opaque is the word I'm looking for. It's not clear, it's not gonna be see-through. It's gonna look more, um, you know, solid. Put a couple of drops of soft suede reinker in there and then i'm going to take my aqua painter i have one aqua painter that is designated for junk see that it's very junky and even the water in here has turned mud color <laughs> i use this with my shimmer paints with my just other things which this would be right now look i added a little bit of water to it and doesn't that look like mud you guys can see it right all right now let's do some flicking just take it and put on the inside of the lid and flick. We wanna get mud, like this four-wheeler has been out mudding. You guys do that where you live? When I first met my husband, one of the very first things that we did is he took me mudding, mudding in his big four-wheel drive SUV. We were in high school. <laughs> All right, there's your mud. Now, we're gonna do a little bit more mud for the inside. This is a piece of Whisper White, four by five and a fourth. I'm gonna adhere it to a slightly larger real red piece, four and an eighth by um, five and three eighths. And then real red, and we're gonna use a sentiment from this set, hope your day is full of adventure, down there at the bottom. And we need some more mud, we do. Gotta have some mud on the inside too. All right, now, you guys, Ange, my friend Ange, her husband, Sean, he's turning 50, and he likes to do this kind of stuff. They ride motorbikes and do all that, so I think I'm gonna send one of these cards to him for his birthday. I think he'll like it. All right, now, this is gonna take some time to dry. Um, it's not gonna dry real quick. It's kind of um, thick, right? Uh, so, um, you're gonna to need to set this aside for a while, or you could use your heat tool, but it's gonna take a while too. Um, and for the sake of time, I have one that's already done. So let me get that one. Let's move this so we don't make a mess. And I'll pull it over. Here we go, right here. Okay, so now here we have it. You can see that mud splatter. I'm gonna adhere this right inside here like this. All right, and then I'm gonna fold that. Oh, look, mine's not quite dry. I did it this morning. It takes a while. That's okay, we're gonna cover that up. I have cut out a silver foil gear cluster, if you wanna call it that, I don't know, maybe that's what it's called, but um, I'm gonna put it behind here, and I wanna cut off some of this to stick out down here. So I'm just gonna kind of go like this and cut these apart. And adhere that back there. And we'll put a little bit here like that. All right, there we have it. Now, we're gonna need to use quite a few dimensionals over here because that's kind of a heavy stack. So we'll put these dimensionals here and put that right in the middle. And that's it, no bow for this guy. It's too messy for a bow, right? If we've got mud, I don't think we need a bow. What do you guys think, you like it? The little dune buggy, four-wheeler, ATV, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> All right, this one for some reason is not sticking. This was my original. I'm gonna have to add some more adhesive to it. All right, card number two, done. You guys like that one? That's fun. Now we're gonna do a treat. We gotta do a treat box before we go. You're gonna like this one. Um, you know, I should show you the next one. 
look, I, we are going to be done by three. I got through that pretty fast. Um, the next one, let me show you in the catalog, wherever this is. This card right here. Did you guys see this beautiful card right here? I love this card. So I have slightly cased this card for our next project. Um, Stampin' Up! puts what they call a supply list or recipes or whatever for each of the catalog samples for demonstrators. So I went and looked to see because I couldn't quite figure out what that was and you'll be surprised at what stamp it is. Okay, all right, so let's do that one. Let me move everything out of the way. And I actually cheated and I have pre-colored this one because I had a feeling the coloring was gonna take a really long time today. So. I stamped the truck in Memento and colored it with pumpkin pie. I did the windows and pool party and the lights and daffodil delight. Um, if you want to see it being colored, go over to my YouTube channel and find the clean recording of this um, and you'll see how I color it. I always do clean recordings in case you guys want to come back and make these projects. You don't have to go through all the Facebook live chatter. Um, for to find what you need okay so this is what we're making a little treat box and actually this is not the original one this is the second one um, I messed this one up today so it's a little bit different so there you can see the original one and inside can you guys guess come on Reese's peanut butter cups of course my husband's favorite so I made the box to fit this and we actually did a Reese's peanut butter box about this time last year with the rooted in nature so I just pulled that one up and reinvented it all right so let's make the box first now remember you guys where's my simply scored remember over on my blog the PDF is going to have the measurements. This is where you really, ooh, I don't know what that is. You're going to um, need the measurements for this one specifically. And it's on the second page right down here, okay? Am I still zoomed in? I can't tell. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. All right, this piece, we're going to leave that there so that's on the inside of the box. <laughs> this piece is six and a fourth by six and three fourths. Um, on the long side, we're gonna score it at half an inch, at one and an eighth, and six and an eighth. Then turn it on the short side. You have to be careful because it's close. One is six and a fourth and one is six and three fourths. So make sure you do the right side. On the short side, the six and a fourth side, you're gonna score it at two and a fourth, two and seven eighths, five and an eighth, and five and three fourths. All right, now let's see. I have a nice brand new bone folder that my downline and friend Lisa sent me. And of course, the only one I have right here is this one. <laughs> Ew, I don't like this one. Obviously you can tell I use it to re-ink my stamp pads. All right, take your bone folder and burnish all those lines. All right, like that. Then we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut out these uh, squares. We're just going to cut them off, okay? So we're going to cut that one. I can't believe that. Hmm. I thought I was going to have it on the inside, but it's going to be on the outside a little bit. And then these two squares right here, okay? All right, now, snip along the bottom, snip, snip, snip. And up here, this is going to be the lid that folds over and in. So we're gonna cut these two off. These are gonna be completely cut off. Whoops, a little crooked. And now, these two squares can go also. All right, so cut those off. There we go. Now I'm gonna set it down so you can see what it looks like. Okay, that, those are all the pieces that we've cut out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now these squares right here are, where's my sample? 
are these little tabs right here. And you can have them connected to the lid or you can have them connected to the box. And it's so much easier to open and close if they're connected to the box. So before you cut, you have to think about, am I gonna cut here or am I gonna cut here? And if you cut right here and here, they're gonna be connected to the lid. We don't want that. So we're gonna cut them here. I don't know if you guys can hear Pepper in there with her new toy. Squeak, 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 squeak. We got a bark box today and she loves her new toy. All right, so do you see how I did that? Now let's just make these, let's cut them at an angle. That way they'll fit nicely inside. God, my hands are so messy from these projects today. And then we'll cut this one, all right? All right, so there we have it. That's what your final piece looks like. Now you wanna use, let's use tear and tape for this. Tear and tape or Tombow. Where's the edge of my tear and tape? I don't know if you guys have heard, there's new adhesive coming in the new catalog. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Speaking of new catalog, next week on the 5th, okay, let me tell you what I'm doing. Put that adhesive there, I'm gonna fold it over, close that, and fold that down. Okay. Next week on the 5th, demonstrators get to order the new catalogs. I'll be sending out an email within the next couple of days with a sign up form. If you want a catalog, you're going to need to sign up for it. Okay. Um, I am charging shipping because these babies are heavy and they weigh over this year's weights. And I think next year's is similar over around a pound, which is very heavy. Um, for an envelope, so I I ship them um, priority in a flat rate envelope, so it's eight dollars. But you're going to get a coupon in your catalog for a free embellishment on your first order in June. Okay, so be looking for that. Make sure you've signed up for my email newsletter. I'll put that up in the description here on. Um, where are we? <laughs> Facebook <laughs> in the description. I'll put it there for you guys. Okay. All right, so then we just close that up and close that and there's your box. Fits that Reese's peanut butter, it's just a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, fits it perfect. Okay, now let's make that fun background. You're gonna need a piece of balmy blue and I will tell you it is four and three fourths by two. Um, I have already cut out two mountains from Soft Suede. These are from the Majestic Mountain dies. This is carrying over to the new catalog. I'm so happy, I love these. Um, and then, okay, so I was telling you guys in the catalog that it had a shadow on it, right? Well, it's from Waterfront. It's this one right here. Isn't that clever? Totally cool. I thought that was really interesting. They didn't actually use the mountain set, they used something else to give it just kind of a, like a watercolor look. So I'm gonna stamp it in soft suede. I'm gonna do two right here. Then I'm gonna stamp it and stamp off and do one in right here in the front, okay? Then we're gonna take a piece of, this is gonna be the dirt road. And we're gonna take that, here we go again, that um, tread, tire tread, and we're gonna stamp it down the length of this little crumb cake piece. I don't know if I put the measurement of this on there. I did not, it's about an inch and a fourth by a little bit shorter than the, than the, the blue piece. All right, now I'm gonna tear off this top edge. I want it to be nice and rough looking. I kind of go down at an angle there, okay? Now, you know what, let's just crumble it up. We're gonna crumble it up. I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Well, we're making it distressed. See, it's nice and distressed. Now take a Stampin' Sponge and soft suede ink and just kind of go along the edges. We're gonna make it dirty, like the dirt road that the truck's been out on and add a little bit like this. This will kind of bring out some of those crinkles in there. All right, very good. My hands are filthy. All right, now let's start with this um, mountain range in the back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one down 
um, flat like that, okay? Hanging off the edge a little bit. The next one I'm gonna do with dimensionals. And I'm gonna do it off-centered a little bit, like that. All right, then grab your scissors and flip it over. Cut those off to match the edge. And this one, I am going to put flat down right here. And it's not gonna go all the way to the end, but that's okay. Oops, that's too high. You know what, let's tear off the bottom, yeah. We'll make it really rough. It's a rough, rugged road. But that means I gotta bring this back over, like that. All right, so we'll put that right there. Oh, that's better. We didn't wanna cover up those mountains. All right, now for our little truck, we're gonna put him right there. Like he's been out riding in the hills, the mountains. And put that right there. Isn't that fun? It's like a, like a, a little dirt road scene. Okay, so now this will fit on our box, but we're not quite done yet. Let's put that right, whoops. Uh-oh, there we go. Right there. We're gonna stamp the sentiment, but I need my, oh, here we go. I've got my piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. This is from that same stamp set, Pedal to the Metal, to a great guy, and I'm gonna stamp it right here on Whisper White, and I'm just going to chop it off, nothing real fancy, if I can find my paper trimmer. Where did it go? Here it is. I'm gonna cut this like that. And we're gonna make a little flag on the left side. So actually this is a little bit too long. Let's cut a little bit off. Cut in the center like this, just a little line and go from the bottom corner up to the top of the line. This is a, a little bit too, I think, too, too narrow to try to use my punch. So I'm just gonna do it like this. All right. And You know, it's too long too, isn't it? There we go. Put that right there, but wait, I didn't use a bow at all today, so we gotta use a bow, a linen thread bow. There we go. Just tiny, teeny tiny. And we will use the glue dots. I'm down to just my last few on this roll. Do I have enough? Yes, I've got one left. There we go. And Put that right there and done. Isn't that fun, you guys? I love that box. I love it. Oh my gosh, did I get, I got, I cannot believe it. I got finished by three o'clock. It's a miracle. It's because I did stuff ahead of time. All right, let's look to see what we made today, you guys. Oh, this has been crooked the whole time, hasn't it? Was it bothering you guys as much as it's bothering me now? Ugh hate that. All right, so we made the two boxes. We made the Z fold card and we made the window card. Now I'm going to send you these three make and take kits for free as long as you have an order in by Monday at midnight. It's bothering me, but I'm going to leave it alone. I can tell it's crooked. Um, <laughs> Monday at midnight, $35 or more, and I will send you a little make and take kit next week. I cut them to very first thing Tuesday morning, so you can't be late with your order, okay? Um, also remember, the PDF is over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, you can email me to get the registration link for the birthday bonanza class to go, um, and watch for that other class that's right here on the PDF on <laughs> online. Um, it'll be coming out in the next few days. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys, it was fun. I hope I didn't miss anything major. I was really trying to focus. Um, I will go back and see if I have any questions that I missed. Um, Cheryl, yes, a full-size Reese's peanut butter cup like you get, you know, at the gas station or in the line at the grocery store. Funny that you asked that because I had asked my husband to get one of these when he went to Walmart and he was like, what size? Where? How many? What? He was so confused. It's just, a, you know, a regular size. Just what you get at, you know, in the checkout line. 
All right, good question. All right, I think that's it. You guys have a great week and I will see you next week. I have no idea what we're gonna do next Friday, but I will be ready, I promise. You guys stay safe, all right? And I will talk to you next week. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.